All right, a while back I made this saddle uh, to basically make a, uh, adjustments to my uh, domino and not having to hold it uh, in place. This thing kept it steady. And what, it, what, it, what this was set up for was with the idea that this fence was back and that's why this notch here held this handle to keep it from moving forward. Uh, let me see if I can show that to you. So you can see here this sat in this notch here and that gave me the ability to plunge forward if pieces were sitting in this, in this manner right here. If they were vertical this way. Okay. But now I want to do the I want to do the I want to use the fence and I don't have a stop anymore because my obviously my handles up here so what I need to do is and here's how this is gonna work I want to be able to plunge this way and this way okay on those small pieces and here's one here so this way and then this direction okay but I need I need something to hold this back so what I did here was I traced out the these posts that land on these blocks and the dark area is the area where I need to put some reinforcement to give me a way of holding this back. All right, taking a small strip of uh, scrap quarter-inch Baltic birch plywood that I have, traced out this footprint. This is the this is what I'm going to remove right here. I and basically need to make a mirror image of the of this cut out here on this side. So I'm just going to cut this in half and make two at a time, and uh, I should be good. All right, sacrificial fence. Uh, clamped in place here. You can just barely see my clamp here, but got that clamp to my miter gauge. Got two pieces here. I'm going to flush up the ends so that I always have some kind of a reference. And I'm going to start right there, see how this goes. Check out the fit. We'll come back if we need to. It's a great fit on the plastic, but I need it to drop down onto this cast aluminum part or cast whatever kind of metal they use. So it's a little bit thin. This 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 thing uh, tapers out that way. So I've got to see which way do I want to go here. I've got to take a little bit more off of the inside. All right, we've got a an acceptable fit, I guess I'll call it. this one. This side you can see better because this this is shorter, but. That fits in there nicely. Right, I, I can cut this small piece off with my table saw, but just using these uh, wooden fingers, I guess I'll call them. I'm just going to guide it in there. Yeah, I'm going to need two to get it started.
there you go. Let's see where I need to glue these in place. All right, a little fine tuning yet. When I put this in place, I'm not quite back as far as I want to be. I want that thing to be just locked right in place. So I'm going to start with this edge. I'll just use a chisel and pair that back, uh, you know, that amount, about a 32nd of an inch, and see how much relief I need in this area. It appears as though I, that that's not touching yet. So I'll start there. Now that did the trick on that one. So that'll work out good. I'm I, uh, let me get this over the top here for you. So I'm shy of the inside here. Uh, right. Get this out of the way. You can just see the edge here. So that's good. And I'm just I'm sticking out proud. I'm sticking out proud of this, which is no big deal. I can flush that up if I want to. But I think that's where I'm going to start, right there. I'll glue that in place with my domino in place. I'll make the same adjustment to this one by cutting this back about a 32nd and then see where I'm at. So I made one more little adjustment on those cuts and I'm very happy with that fit right there. That will be nice. And if I needed to make any more adjustments, I could do them once it's glued up in place. So I'm going to put a little glue on. The shaded areas here. And I'll glue the whole back of these. Set them in place. Bring my domino back here and just let it sit. This probably would have been a better place to use super glue, but it's too late now. I'm just going to hold this for a couple of minutes. Right after holding it for a couple of minutes, uh, took my hands off obviously and then pulled my domino out put some finger pressure on it again I could see there was a little glue squeeze out but it's tacked up enough that it wasn't really moving just to make sure I put my domino back in it, it registered great uh, then I just threw this 
call on there and a clamp and now I'll give it uh, the time it needs. All right, we've waited the appropriate amount of time here. Let's see how things look. <clears throat> Boy, that's nice and solid. I like that. Now, I'm going to put this handle back. Make sure it still functions the other way. And it does. Wonderful. So I can still use it in this manner with the piece vertical or have the fence up. I can't do that. And use it the way I want to use it in this manner. Nice. Okay, I'm going to clean this up a little, oops, sorry. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Uh, flush these up, knock off these hard corners here, and then uh, come back and use it. So before, you can see that this is hanging out here quite a bit. Hard corner, and then after, flushed up here and here, round this over, and then kind of softened all these edges as well. Much more pleasing to the eye and a lot easier on the hands if you ever got, you know, a knuckle in there. So this literally took me only about five minutes. So let me clean up the other one here and we'll be good to go.